Genuinely, I didn't remember Santa Claus till like a week after I got back and went, what's this picture that Jason made? (laughs) Street, do you remember this? And he was like, nope. I was like, well, Jason's got a picture of it, so... Story time. (laughs) So we're shooting the documentary, Millennium After the Millennium. We, uh, Carly and her husband, Street, come out to Canada so we can all meet up. On a plane, which was terrifying. On a plane, which was terrifying. They didn't come by boat, thank God. Because they would have probably been there like a month after we were there. <laughs> <laughs> and so we go out drinking one night and just having fun or whatever. And we One night. I love that. This Like out of the five nights, we <laughs> went drinking for out of the five nights. Okay. All right. It was, it was a week-long binge. <laughs> At some point during that week, we come back to the hotel. <laughs> and they're having a private party in, in the hotel restaurant. That. And they're, it's all decked out. This is like around December, so it's all Christmafied. Yeah, because we got a bauble on a tree. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was completely separate, though. That was not at the same time. <laughs> that was a different place. <laughs> so so they have this whole, like, VIP thing with this, like, red carpet sort of spread going in the restaurant. They've got Santa Claus for people that are invited to this exclusive party. Yeah, so exclusive you can hop over the fence. Well, there was nobody stopping that fucking train. You guys were like, you guys were like lightning, like the flash. <laughs> You're like, you're like, Santa, boom, you're gone and in his arms. <laughs> it was just like, it was like, what the heck? Where did Carly and Street? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're, that's not for you. you didn't stop <laughs> like, us. Security's you didn't coming stop over. Us, though, did you got you? the, you got the bell. What was, what was our, the bellhop dude's name at the door? What was their door name? Larry. Larry. Yeah. Larry, Larry the doorman, who was awesome, by the way, is running over. The people at the desk are running over. People are trying to, tear these lunatic British people off of Santa Claus. And he's like, oh, oh who the fuck are these people? And they're like, we just want a picture. <laughs> like, Santa's like, okay, okay, everybody back off. Just give me a picture. <laughs> so <laughs> try, and, try and I go over there and take, I don't know, 10, 15 pictures because you guys wouldn't leave them alone. <laughs> it was just the most hilarious thing ever. Because, I mean, yeah, it just <laughs> So that's what you're getting into if you I ever mean, meet Carly. Barry was pretty small. Okay. First start. Santa stalker. Just saying. <laughs> you were you were smoking in the hotel when you weren't meant to be smoking. So don't put this on me. Okay. We we oh, made you realize yeah. well, that you weren't true. actually that supposed was... to be smoking and throwing your cigarette butts on people's heads. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad form. I didn't I didn't know what was happening. And then we all just did the same thing. <laughs> we had a bit to drink. That was that was bad form. Thanks for telling everybody what a horrible person I am. Appreciate that. And you let us get conned out of a load of money for a crate of Budweiser. Wait, what? <laughs> Do you remember when we went to that weird little place and they were like, "Oh, go in the back," and we had to go through them weird little, like, oh, it wasn't even a door. It was like little bits of Velcro or something. And we went through there, and there was loads of cases of Budweiser. And and the woman was haggling with you, and you went, "Oh yeah, we'll take that." I'm paid like three times as much as it would have cost. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Yeah, because then we played, what is it, Cards Against Humanity? Yeah, we did do that, yeah. Yeah, you paid an extortionate price for a crate of Budweiser. Really? Yeah, because we were telling you to haggle and you wouldn't haggle. (laughs) I'm not a haggler. Yeah, I know that now. (laughs) Yeah, no, I, I, t- I totally don't remember that at all. <laughs> you are not in charge of haggling. Granted, granted, I had a lot to drink that night. Well, that was after a load of people got kicked out of their places at the bar for us to come and sit down, even though they were regulars. Oh, well, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> they made people move so that we could sit down because they knew we'd spend more than them. <laughs>